what to do. Okay. All ready? Is that boiling already? Well, I had to put in a little bit of water because otherwise it's going to turn to a brown. Okay. Oh, I got you. Okay. Good. All right. Once again, the back camera is the talking camera. I'm adding four cups of water and one tablespoon of kosher salt for each cup of rice. When the water boils and it comes to a complete boil, that's when I'm going to add my rice. Don't add the rice until the water comes to a complete boil. This is a very important step and it's one reason why people tend to have rice that isn't cooked fully because they try and get impatient and they get ahead of the steps. And I think that's one of the reasons rice cookers are so popular. But really rice is not that difficult to make. The water is boiling and I have my orzo and my oil, my salt is already in the water. I'm going to add the two cups of rice that I had washed. And this is long grain rice, which has been completely washed and removed of starch. And I want to mix it because that will avoid the clumps. It'll come back to a boil. And then I'm going to lower the heat just slightly and allow it to cook up for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once it's cooked up and it's started to puff, I'm going to turn off the heat, cover it, turn off the heat, and allow it to sit for 15 minutes. That will allow the rice to puff up. If you're going to be making rice with chickpeas, at that stage, you would add the butter and a can of chickpeas and just mix it up and serve it. It's a really important to allow the rice to puff. And once it's completely cooked, after it's been standing for 15 minutes, you want to go in with your spoon and loosen it up because that will allow the individual kernels of rice to separate and really, um, really expand and they are so delicious.